Hello everyone, welcome back to Mohana Astrology and this video is about Aquarius Moon Signs and Aquarius Ascendants and how this month of July is going to be for you. For Aquarius Moon Signs and uh, Ascendants, all the activities of planets uh, are happening in your 7th house. Jupiter and uh, Saturn have been activating this house for long. And in the month of July, Mars is coming there. Mars has already come there. And then uh, you will have Venus coming there on 7th and then on 25th, Mercury will join them as well. So it's a hyperactive, superactive house for you. And how is this going to impact your month? So let's find out that. And before I go into the detailed prediction, I would like to request to you to subscribe to my channel and like this video if you feel that this video is providing you some kind of guidance for the month of July. Thank you and let me now go ahead with the predictions. The whole month of July is going to revolve around you, your health and your spouse, your relationship with other people. If you have business partners, your relationship with them. So it's you and the other people who are a priority in June. I'm sorry, in July. The month is great for business people if you are running any business. But at the same time, remember that if you are running any partnership business, there may be difficulties arising uh, in the relationship with your partners. But the first half of the month shows multiple gains, multiple opportunities opening up and uh, multiple sources of earnings are opening up for you in business. Venus and Mars coming to your 7th house and then Venus is going retrograde there as well on 23rd of July indicates that there will be some kind of disturbances in your married life and you also need to take care of your spouse's health because retrograde Saturn's just sitting opposite to your 7th house in your sign is aspecting them. Venus and Mars sitting in your 7th house indicates rise of passion and need for uh, you know physical intimacy or rise in physical desires for you in the month of July. And this can disturb the balance and harmony in your married life. So you need to take note of this. Now, all these that I'm talking about, it impacts more to Aquarius moon signs than Aquarius ascendants. Although combinations for getting married is forming in July because of Venus and Jupiter's aspect and Mercury is also coming there. But I'm not too comfortable with Mars's presence. And also the fact that retrograde Saturn is forming opposition with this Mars in your 7th house. This can create situation of conflict, not only in marital relationships, but also possibility of some unwanted situation uh, arising in, in the wedding itself is also there. On top of that, Venus is also getting retrograde on 23rd. Again, not a good time to get married. So, if you at all wish to get married, do it before 23rd or better that you wait for better times in future. Sun in the first half of the month will be in your fifth house with Mercury. Mercury is combust in the first two weeks of July and this can cause health issues to your children. This can also cause um, ego issues with your children. It is however wonderful for creative careers, creative pursuits or if you are in writing, uh, editing, authoring anything, that kind of work. Recognition, reputation also can come to you particularly in the second half when sun moves to your sixth house. And this move of sun to your sixth house is good for your job as well. 
you will do well in competitions. Overall professional growth will be there. Property related matters will be good between 7th and 23rd July. Both parents' health can cause worry after 23rd particularly. Travel opportunities will be there and religious travel or travel for higher education that's also a high possibility for you in July. One word of caution, try to avoid long distance travel after 23rd July. This month you need to remain a bit careful of unwanted expenses and family disputes. Mars has 8th aspect on your 2nd house. So uh, these things are possible and also take care that you do not say anything harsh. Now some important dates for you. 1st to 3rd July will be very good for your professional growth and money matters as well. And a health and mental peace will need care between 5th to 8th July and again between 21st to 25th July. So this is all that I had to share with you as far as uh, Aquarius moon signs and ascendants are concerned for the month of July. I hope that you will have a great month ahead and take care. May God bless us all. Thank you so much.